It's my day four here in Tanzania and today I took a bus from Iringa to Dar es Salaam and apparently I took the most luxurious bus but again the most unexpected thing happened to me on this day and it's really something that I wouldn't wish for anyone who is traveling in Tanzania or traveling anywhere around Tanzania. So please watch this video from start to the end so that you can see what really happened so that you don't make the same same mistake that I did today. Guys, this is the bus we're living with. Good morning. I'm going from Iringa now to Dar es Salaam. And this is the bus I'm going with. It's called ABC Upper Class. The one that we booked yesterday. Remember? Yes, yeah, so we're going with this one. Apparently, this is the most five-star rated bus in Tanzania. And so my friends recommended this. Uh, my friends are from uh, Germany and Czech Republic. And they have used this bus from Dar es Salaam to Iringa. And now I'm using it from Iringa to Dar es Salaam and I'm only paying that 5,000 Tanzanian shillings which is approximately 2,000 Kenyan shillings which is about $15 and it has like the most rated five stars in Tanzania so I'm looking forward to uh, boarding this bus I've heard that it has a toilet inside it has like first class uh, services they even give you free water and some um, other stuff while you're on board and they don't allow food. Yes, so guys, I'm in. I am in the seat number B4 which is like the window seat and we are going to the and I don't know actually where to alight I don't know if you guys can see me yes there's enough light oh yeah it's really a luxurious bus looks like we have nice AC nice speakers nice space so, I'm like oh my god I like this is where you can put your legs there's like screens wow and they're very comfortable seats and you can adjust them as well wow this is the most luxurious bus i've ever used wow and it was not expensive like the one i used from Miringa to to Aru from Arusha to Miringa. so i mean it's a nice bus and yeah, we'll see all right let's look at those seats like the waiting place that's where we waited I arrived here for like like, mm -hmm. like five and I've been waiting mm -hmm. there and it's almost like seven we're supposed to be living like seven daddy so here yeah, they're just packing stuff and then we'll be leaving yeah. I'll see you on the way to see how this goes really comfortable so far Yesterday, you remember I got the ticket, the one, uh, one ticket that was remaining. It was a cancellation of a guy who was supposed to uh, wait cans on the trip. But now, I come in, the, the seat that I was I bought is not cancelled. So this is what happened. I know there's noise behind me, but hope you can still hear me. Um, so there's this seat that I bought. And so the guy who had cancelled is tomorrow, not today. So I think that we're going to another stage where I'm going to find another bus to Da. Yeah, because I have to go today. So it's weird. It's weird now. I don't know. And hopefully I get a bus. Maybe I get a seat in this bus. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Goodbye, Ringo. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ringo. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you, Ringo. Ringo is really, really beautiful. Yeah, I'm 
obviously it rained out, but it was nice. I just did like two days here. It was the best. Yeah, you didn't get clocked out. So I hope you guys, um, okay. I'll get a bus or maybe I'll go with this one to Dar es Salaam, I'm not really sure okay. because I guess this is really weird for me because I booked a bus and I got a seat of someone who had cancelled. And it happens that I didn't read the get dates and also the guy who was giving me the ticket didn't read the dates. And so the guy who cancelled it was for tomorrow, not today. And I have to go today to Jerusalem because I have to go to Jerusalem and then I have to go to Zanzibar. So I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, we left. So we're looking forward to maybe getting to the other stage. First, I can get credit so that I can tell someone, uh, Alex and uh, Anastasia, that like I explained what happened. But yeah, let's see what happens. But let me show you uh, the other parts of uh, Iringa. this yesterday okay i mean i have only two i had only two days here look at that we're watching a movie there's a movie going on here yeah it's an action movie in english it's really cool uh so about the bus ticket so this is what really happened um we got the bus stop supposed to be on the bus and uh, that didn't really happen because they said they couldn't find another bus which is empty or like which has space for me so right now i'm riding on a seat of someone else who's gonna come in and get another bus top uh probably i would just turn at the front with the contactor because I have to be in car for one reason or the other, I have to go to that as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, it's Matata. Matata. <laughs> yeah, if someone here watches us, it's Matata. And everyone else. Yeah, so probably you need to check your dates when you, when you 
get a ticket if something happens like you get a ticket like mine whereby it's like a ticket of someone who cancelled you need to check the dates really well because for mine I'm just suffering because I got ticket for a wrong date yeah but anyway so far so good I'm traveling um, I mean it's not bad I'm, I'm watching a movie I mean actually yeah. really good yeah and a nice view this is uh, Tanzania, really nice, good view, a lot of mist, and houses here they are made of mud, like, yeah, but this is really good view, a lot of mountains, yeah. Alright guys, let's go to Dar es Salaam, we'll see what happens, I'll continue updating you of what really happens. Alright, see you. I know my camera is not me doing me justice because I need to be able to zoom for you guys to be able to see but my camera is not doing me justice because it's a GoPro but anyway hope you guys will see some animals like I'm doing because this place okay it's not allowed to film there is like there was a banner showing that I'm not supposed to be filming but you know you know who I am you know <laughs> I have to show you guys and so yeah so please like this video please give me a thumbs up and this place it's super green guys this is tanzania for you i've I haven't seen any other place as green as this place oh this place is so beautiful and a lot of wild animals oh my god i don't know if you guys can see them you have more zebras more zebras Oh my god, it's like a game drive on a road trip.
this road from uh, Iringa to Dodomo to Dar es Salaam. Yes. Is that look? Tell me on the comment section, would you ever try to do this road trip like from Iringa to Dar es Salaam using ABC buses? And if yes, tell me why. And if it's because of this video, please, before you do, <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Like this video, share it with your friends so that they can be able to do this trip as well. I'm, all, I'm loving it, guys. Guys, this is the most luxurious road trip I've ever done. I swear to God, this is the best. Like, you even have, like, animals on the road. Like, I've seen zebras, I've seen giraffes, I've seen war dogs, I've seen antelopes. Wild beast. There's a wild beast over there. There's a just one wild beast over there. Wow, this is the best road trip I've ever done. And I'm using the heavy sea bus, which is the most comfortable luxurious bus in Tanzania. So you should try it. I I highly recommend. Although I went to Tanzania yesterday. I don't know where but we are this place called Kate Hotels and that's our bus and we are going for lunch so they said we have like 20 minutes and another bus is there so these are the buses that we come with and they said we have 20 minutes to have lunch after which we'll just go back to the bus and they don't allow food in the bus Luckily, they didn't catch me because I had food. This is one thing that you have to know and probably I think they shouldn't be doing this. Or if they do, please, ABC bus terminals, please, please make sure your food is affordable. This place food is like times 10 the price. Guys, I couldn't afford this food. I couldn't pay like, like, how can I pay like $30 for just like a meal? Like fries, guys, chips. How can you buy that for like $30? Like very small portion. Am I in England? No, we're in Africa, guys. So imagine I just got like sour milk. I got two donuts. I got one egg and two sausages. And I ended up paying like 10,000 Tanzania shillings, which is like almost 1,000 Kenyan shillings. Just imagine, guys. That's like uh, $7. That is very expensive in Tanzania. Because if I was in Iringa, for the same, same stuff, I would pay like less than 5,000 so guys this is very very expensive 
but anyway we need something to eat so i'll just finish up eating this egg and then i'll just go back to the bus because they don't allow us to go with food all right guys see you on the way They just called for us to go back to the buses and now since we can't go back with food so i have to look for dust event so i can see one let's come just throw this stuff just like i didn't finish so i'm just gonna throw you here and then we go back to the buses like yeah so are you guys ready for another view that was really good but it's really really expensive guys i mean whoo that was really exp it's not what i expected I call it for a bus we need to go back to the bus and they said we can't carry food i think that was a quick lunch really nice one um because when i'm traveling i don't usually like check really hard stuff because of the toilet <laughs> since we have a toilet here but the problem is only for like short calls but yeah my bus is the first one big yard and they have like ABC oil petrol station up there so I think it's a very big 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 company and that's our hostess the one walking there like the bus bus hostess just calling people all right see you in the next one So now just guys I just need to collect my luggage which was put in the front and here is our bus hostess if i didn't say guys we have bus hostess and this is her she's so beautiful she's the best person i think she's the best she's so friendly thank you thank you okay off we go so we just go now and find our hotel which is just opposite here at the bus all right guys yeah i go and guess what guys my hotel is just opposite here Just calling me, but I'll tell you it's just opposite here. This one over here. Ebuniambi kwa sababu kuna bei nimeambiwa sasa si kama ndio hiyo tu. Mimi nimefanya kuambiwa bei. Nimeambiwa vyumba vyaanzia kutoka 1200. Kuna 18 na 20. 
kumi haya na ishirini naweza viona vyote zangu wazungu ndio wananiambia ukifika da ukaenda samaha ah wazungu eh wazungu ndio ah wazungu ah waishi ringa ah kwa nini eh waenda kwa wajo wajo wanakuja huko sana eh mm. na wajo asa Mm. Ana za kuona chochote kimoja. Okay, let's go pay his 20,000. I'm just staying here one night. Yeah. All right. So guys, we have to sign up this book. Um apparently when you come in you have to sign. Up. Oh no. They only have a pencil. Okay, so we're just going to have to use it. I guess they don't have a pen. Ah, <laughs> shukran ya. Alafu amna amna umeme. Amna umeme. Ah, sorry. All right, guys. Here is where someone stayed. Um, so she confirmed there is no electricity, but they're gonna turn on the generator later. Uh, guys, I just arrived in Dar es Salaam. I just arrived in Dar es Salaam. <laughs> yes, I'm here, and uh, I'm really excited because. I'm now in my hotel and I just want to give you a room tour um, of my room. It's costing 20,000 Tanzania shillings. And yeah, yes, let me start from the door. Okay. So, that's the door, two locks. And once you get in, here is the toilet, the bathroom, uh, your shower, You have a shower here, that's a light. Then you have a toilet, you have slippers, you have an extra bucket. Uh, let's see if there's water. Yeah, there's water, but in very low, low pressure. Yep, currently no electricity. They said uh, this area, there's no electricity currently. That's what um, the receptionist said. But this is where we are. We have a mirror right here then we have a bed uh, with two pillows the rest uh, the hotel is called Samar Hotel Samar Hotel right there that's my bag you have a mat there you have a table you have like a locker here uh, let's see oh cockroaches and then we have this I don't know what this is then we have this Guys, I don't know what that says. Oh, it's soap. It says beauty soap. All right. And then you have a chair here. That's already my sweater. Yeah. Looks somewhat hot, but like a really, really, really old chair. <laughs> that is. Yeah. And then you have a balcony. Oh, you have a old chair here. Then we have a balcony. Let's see the balcony. Oh, two doors. I think the balcony is locked. The balcony is locked. I can't access the balcony. Let me see my key. Oh, I have a key. I have a key. Let's see. All right. Here we go. Oh God, that's. I need to pull this up. All right. And there's a the set. We have a balcony. And a very, very good view of the Ah, oh, 
Oh, look at that. And then you see there is like red, blue, yellow, no, red, green, yellow. And you see it over there, that's like the bus stop, the bus that I came with. ABC bus, like the most luxurious bus. Then that's the view of the Islam. Guys, welcome to the Islam. What a nice hotel. Cheap for 20,000. Yeah, this is the view from my hotel. Samar Hotel. This is nice. And we have the Islam. Alright, guys. Yeah, that's my room. So I don't know what we're gonna do next. I just want to rest edit some videos and yeah nice welcome welcome to the restaurant that is making a lot of noise <laughs> yeah that's making a lot of noise all right guys right uh, maybe now we will just go and have a wee wonder side find something to eat and call it a day then we'll have maybe a wee wonder tomorrow morning uh really good morning I see there's, there's a lady cooking something there. Maybe we'll go and try that. There's someone cooking something outside there. Maybe we'll go and try that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my friends um, told me to come here. Samona <laughs> and Alex told me to come here uh, because they thought it is a really good hotel. And this is the exact place that they stayed. So um, they, have a, they have a TV here. I don't know if that works. Uh, but we don't have electricity, so I don't know if that works. But yeah, all right. Let me see you as we go outside. Let me just get ready and rest a little bit. <laughs> 